Look at the wide receiver with the streak route here, guys. Zone drop set at about 15, 20 yards. Does not matter. Absolutely massive hole against cover two, guys. Fire that in. Thing that you say about me. My dogs like to play mad in 2K. But one thing they don't do is play about me. My homeboy Tyler, he playing South. What is going on, YouTube? King Reggie, and we are back. Today, we are continuing my single back wing stack offense out of the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook. Now, today, we will be doing two different setups. The first setup will be out of the play PA Power O. Now, this is going to be a great setup to really attack zone coverage. We're going to be attacking all areas of the field. It's going to put the user in a really tough spot, and it is going to work against man coverage as well. The second setup will be at a PA Steeler shot. Now, this is going to be a great setup to attack cover two and cover three. It's really going to attack vertically and get behind deep zone coverage. Now, before we get into that, guys, I quickly want to kind of give you a rundown of the channel if you guys are new. Now, I'm going to do really in-depth, full scheme, full play breakdowns, guys. I'm going to have real gameplay footage. I'm going to bring you down on the field. I'm going to show you all these plays are actually going to work in weekend league, online head-to-head, -head, in your CFM, just playing against your buddy at home. All these plays are actually going to work against a real opponent when there's users on the field, against blitzes, against all different zone coverages. Now, if that sounds like something you would be into, definitely leave a like on this video and sub down below. Now, I'm going to leave three links in the description description guys the first link will be the playlist to this whole scheme you guys should definitely check that out after this video you should definitely watch at least the intro video to the scheme guys I go over the personnel I use the audibles we use and the ability points we use on all our players and I give you just a really good rundown of kind of the idea with this offense the second link in the description guys will be a gameplay of me actually using this the second link in the description guys will be a gameplay of me using this offense if you guys want to see it actually working you know against a real Real opponent and kind of how I like to sequence my plays together check out that link then the third link will be my empty tray stack offense that is also out of the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook that is going to be another good formation that you can use in unison with this offense it's a empty offense really really fun to use a lot of really good passing plays in that offense and then I'm also going to link to my Twitter account guys I'm going to really start you know getting more active on Twitter so you guys should definitely give me a follow on that now, why you should use these two setups. Now, guys, like I said, PA Power O, that is going to be our first setup. And then our second setup is going to be PA Steeler Shot. Now, why I really love these plays, guys, is these plays are going to have the same motion as a run play that I already put out. It is the HB Belly Week, guys. It is going to have the same tight end motion as this play. So you can really use that play in unison. You're going to have a run play. It's going to have the same motion. And then we also put out a play out of PA Fork. It is going to have the exact same motion. This is another really, really good passing play, guys. That is very similar to that PA Boot Over play. So really, really tough to stop, guys. And I like to look at these four plays as almost just like a little mini scheme inside of single back wing stack. So you can run all four of these plays, same motion, and it's really not gonna give, your, gonna give your opponent a tell. Now, as far as PA Power O, guys, this is gonna do a great job against all zone coverage, especially that kind of cover three double flat meta. This play is absolutely gonna destroy that. We're really gonna attack all areas of the field. We have like two routes that really the user almost has to take care of or they're gonna get open a very good amount of the time. And then we have a nice high low read on the back side of the play. Now, as far as this PA Steeler shot play guys, this is probably my favorite play in the whole formation to really attack cover two deep down the field. This will get open basically every single time against cover two, as long as you have time in the pocket. So really you could, if someone's spamming cover two against you, you, you can call this play basically every time and get huge chunk yardage. And then also if they are deep having their cornerbacks to take away our cover three you know one play touchdowns then this play will get behind zone coverage and do a really good job of attacking cover three as well all right guys let's get into the breakdown for pa power o all right guys so pa power o i called this one just wheel play because i have a lot of setups out of pa power o in previous videos now if you guys are new to the channel i've tried to make this screen for every single passing play i put out basically you guys can come back to the screen at any moment bring up the adjustments and bring up all the reads you will need it'll be right there at your fingertips so the adjustments for this play guys we want the stack to the wide side of the field then we want to take our running back and we just want to put him on a wheel route we want to take the back of stack receiver and we just want to put him on an out route and then we want to take the outside tight end and we want to drag put him on a drag and then motion him across the field once he actually stops and settles beside the tackle then we can snap the ball now reads guys versus zone we want to look to the wheel route out of the backfield this is always going to be our first read if the user doesn't jump to it 
or if the yellow zone drops back with the post, then we just want to throw this wheel route to the sideline, guys. This out route from our back of stack receiver is going to pull the hard flat out. We're going to have a really nice alley for this wheel route. And if the user doesn't play it, we can basically throw this every time. Now, if the user jumps down to that wheel, we have this really nice post route that comes in behind, you know, the yellow zones and the user guys that these two routes in unison are really, really tough to stop. And then if we look to the backside, guys, we just have a really nice high low. So look to the short side of the field. If there's no hard flats, we're just going to throw the drag to the tight end and then if there are hard flats and they're not you know double flatting on the weak side then we can throw this corner route to the tight end now versus man coverage guys we want to look to the post route from the front of stack receiver i go in the over in the intro video guys we have a route running ability on this player short in elite so he's going to get really good separation against man coverage when he cuts inside of 10 yards this route you will see we get super quick and easy separation against man coverage then same thing guys we have a route running ability on this tight end so look to the corner route from the single side tight end gonna get very good separation against man coverage and if both those are covered then we have the drag from the motion to over tight end all right let's get into the gameplay all right guys so all of our adjustments are in we motion this play over and basically right away guys we're gonna be looking to the wheel route out of the backfield so this first play is gonna be against cover three it looked like cover two but they switched to a cover three shell once we snap the ball so right here guys this is a hard flat right here so you see what the hard Hard flat is going to do guys he's going to get pulled out by this out route from our back of stack receiver the user jumps to the two tight ends playing on the short side of the field and we have an absolute massive alley right up in the middle of the field also the post route route is absolutely wide open but we're going to fire in that wheel route rack catch it and gain 15 yards get down to about the seven yard line okay same thing guys this is going to be cover three again all our adjustments are in snap the ball here we go hard flat once again guys you are gonna see he's gonna hop way out to the out route we're gonna have an alley in the middle of the field right up behind the post route as we can see on the display guys the user gets pulled into the middle of the field by that post route so both these routes guys are gonna work so well off each other then we can just fire in that wheel route and that's like a gain of 15 yards super super easily okay guys same thing adjustments in now on this play guys, I see, we're watching the user, he's kind of jumping over to the tight end side, just kind of sitting in the middle of the field, not really, really doing much. So we could have thrown the um, wheel route to the running back, but this post route guys does such a good job, it's really, users are super late, late reacting to it. He's going to stem outside, then he's going to come back, cut inside, and we're just going to low ball that in for a 14 yard touchdown guys. Okay, one more time guys, same thing, snap the ball. Once again, user in the middle of the field, flat defender gets pulled out. So once again, guys, we could have thrown this wheel, but when I see the user just jump way over to this side, we have a huge alley in the middle of the field. I'm just gonna hold this ball for a second longer. As soon as we see our post about to clear this yellow defender, I'm just gonna lead that into the middle of the field and we're able to pick up a nice chunk play there of 20 yards. Okay, same thing guys, motion over. Now we snap the ball. We see the user playing in the middle of the field. This play, guys, now we're kind of getting in the red zone. This player actually does a good job of kind of playing underneath. The user's in the middle of the field on the post. So now we're looking to the short side of the field, guys, with our high-low read from the tight end. So you see hard flats on the field. He's playing on the drag. So now we can hit that corner route in behind him, guys, and that's just an easy, easy dot. So we can really attack both sides of the field with this play. Okay, one more time, guys. Now we're going to look at it against man coverage. So I will usually not call this play to beat man specifically. Specifically, but if they surprise it us and they do call man coverage we have some really good options so right here guys we're gonna look at Isaac Bruce we're gonna see here guys his ability is gonna light up that's that short in elite he's gonna cut inside guys and that's four to five yards of easy separation in the middle of the field guys you can rack catch that we get, make a guy miss and that's like a 16 17 yard gain against man coverage now we're going to look at our tight end so there's going to be man coverage again he's actually going up against a corner on this play it's almost his double coverage too we're going to see our ability light up i actually think yeah it was two players in man coverage there our ability lights up we get super quick and easy separation and we get in for a 15 yard touchdown 
All right, guys, now PA Steeler shot. Our adjustments, we want the stack to the wide side of the field, same thing. Then we want to put the back side, back of stack receiver, we want to put him on a streak route, inside tight end on a post route. And then we same motion, guys, take that outside tight end, motion him across the field, and he's going to be blocking on this play, so just leave him blocking. We just like to motion him across the field just to look similar to some of the other setups where we use this tight end motion. Now, our reads versus zone, guys, we want to read the deep blue defender on the wide side of the field. So that's in cover two or cover three. Don't call this against cover four if you do look to the post or the check down, but against cover three or cover two, we want to look to the deep blue defender on the wide side. If they commit to the streak, wait for the deep corner to cut to the outside and then we want to throw past the lead that out and away guys i went in practice mode you can set against cover three or cover two you can set the zone drops to 30 yards and you will still be able to hit this deep corner in behind them so basically it's against cover two unless they use this corner route 35 40 yards down the field it will get open every time and then if they deep half their corners it will also get open every time so if in cover three they don't have deep half their corner look to the post over the middle of the field sometimes I'll just quick snap it or quick throw it or you can kind of just wait if they're playing hard flats you can actually hit him just as a post route late along the sidelines and then you know if they're in cover four you just really don't what, like what you're seeing you have a check down to the running back now versus, we're never going to call this play against man coverage guys but if they do surprise us against wit and call man coverage we're going to look to the post route from um our tight end and then the check down to the running back okay let's look at the game play okay guys so this is going to be cover two on this play we're going to look at this streak route so our our eyes guys we want to right after the snap we want to realize okay is this cover two cover three cover four so right after the snap guys we see two deep safeties corner settling so this is cover two really easy so now we're going to look to this streak route Look at the cover two play, uh, safety guys. He's gonna hold in the middle of the field on this streak route. And this player just has an absolutely just massive hole along the sidelines. The user even sees it, but there is no way a user is gonna be able to make a play on this route against cover two. That's like 45 yards down the field. It does not matter their zone drops. You will be able to beat cover two basically every single time as long as you have time in the pocket. So right after the snap, once again, we see cover two. So deep safety, deep safety, corner kind of settling. We're thinking cover two right away. Tight end leaving into block. We want that extra time. Look at the wide receiver with the streak route here, guys. Zone drop set at about 15, 20 yards. Does not matter. Absolutely massive hole against cover two, guys. Fire that in our toe. It might have been out of bounds there. We might have been in, but basically the concept against cover two, you are going to absolutely destroy it. Okay, now guys, snap the ball. Here we see the safety come in the box, corner drop back, safety in the middle of the field corner. So now we see cover three. So when we see cover three guys, now our eyes are going to go to the outside deep blue defender here and we want to see this player. So if they deep half their corners to stop those one play touchdowns, we are going to see him commit to this streak and he's going to run up the field with him. As soon as we see that guys, we know, okay, he deep halfed his corner. Now look at the zone drop here, guys. That's like 25 yards. It does not matter against cover three. We can pass lead this up and towards the sideline line against cover three, get behind zone coverage when they deep half that corner. That is just stealing along the sideline one more time guys snap the ball so this is a cover three shell to start when we snap the ball yeah it confirms it it's cover three so now we want to look at this deep blue defender guys now on this play see he does not commit to square he doesn't commit to that streak he kind of plays in between the two of them so now our eyes are coming off that you know that deep corner guys now we're going to this post in the middle of the field this is what i was talking about if they're playing hard flats now we can wait for this player to clear come in along the sideline fire that in that's a nice you know mid-range option if they're playing hard flats and you know they kind of catch us off guard and they don't really call what we think they were going to call all right guys that is it for my single back wing stack offense i'm really excited with this offense guys i think it just gives you a ton of variation a ton of options ways to beat every single zone coverage every man coverage two really good run plays a bunch of motions basically different formations inside the formation so i really hope you guys liked this offense i think it's super unique way different than most you know people you see running online so that is going to wrap up single back wing stack two more really really good um setups for you guys thank you guys so much for tuning in we are going to be debuting a new offense on sunday so really excited for that i'm going to be live streaming on saturday again guys so 
probably do a preview stream of that offense again. So definitely, you know, tune in on Saturday, guys. Come say hi in the stream. The more active you guys are in the chat, the more fun I'm going to have. And then I'm not just sitting here playing by myself. We you know interact. You guys can ask me any question you guys want. If you guys have any questions or comments about this scheme, guys, in general, leave it down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Once again, check the three links in the description. Follow me on Twitter. My name is King Reggie, single back wing stack. And I am out.